So here we are. We did a little bit of house hunting. This one is just kind of one that I wanted to show really quick. It wasn't our favorite just because as you'll see throughout the different clips, there were a lot of steps and while the views were beautiful and the house itself wasn't too bad, had some really cool kind of entry points and lots of light coming through, it just wasn't for us. It was just way too many steps. It was a little too dated in some areas for us. So we felt like we were going to have to do a little bit of work if we had decided to go with a house like this. But those views, though, you, you can't get you can't get those views anywhere else. I swear they were really beautiful. <laughs> I guess he's looking at like damages and stuff. So we've got the rental car. Oh, I'm so tired, guys. I was on call last night and I'm tired. <laughs> this is going to be inter an interesting experience. This is how it's going to be. We're going, I'm going to be on this side. I'm, gonna, I'm on my left side, which is where we normally drive from. Today we have shopping planned. Um, we have like a whole week of, or a week of, in like a couple days worth of, um, of activities and stuff. So obviously, so this is probably going to be the most adventure filled week. So I'm really excited because we're going to be going to like a bunch of different like areas, cities within Joburg, you know, it would have been nice to go to some other provinces this time around, but we're like, you know what? It might've been just a little bit too much of a lift for us this time. So we just kind of stuck to Joburg and kind of like the surrounding areas. There's just other things that are kind of going on that are occupying our time. And so I just haven't felt like picking up the camera. Plus the first like week and a half, two weeks that we've been here so far has really just been spent at the mall eating. So I'm not mad at it because the food here is very good. We've only had a couple of places where we didn't really like the food, but I think that's more of just like personal taste and not the food itself you know but not everything is going to be to everyone's taste but I feel like 95% of the food we've loved like so much so that we've gone to some of these restaurants more than once but we're going to be getting on our way soon we're going to be heading to Santon so we can go shopping kind of saving up for this moment so that we can just kind of have a I'm good learning. time I'm learning so <laughs> <sighs> okay so the journey begins we're right. going to be well, now we. Paul's gonna start first. Uh, <laughs> a little nervous. A little nervous. Oh. We'll see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here, guys. We've made it. <laughs> it was a struggle. A test in our marriage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But no, my, my husband did a great job driving his first time on the left-hand side of the road. Uh, but, we're... <laughs> um, but yeah, we're here, so we're gonna hopefully do a little shopping and we'll check in later. So when it came to the malls, we didn't really shop much. We, we didn't really buy much. I guess when it comes to shopping, we really just did a lot of window shopping. So we went into a lot of home decor places, places where you can pick up things for your kitchen, you know, just random things for your house. Those are kind of my favorite places to shop in particular. Uh, we did hit up a cigar shop, just kind of looking in there because um, you know, it's just kind of fun to look at those types of things, you know, the shisha slash the hookup setups and whatnot. But really throughout our entire time there, whenever we kind of hit up a shopping center or any kind of mall, we really just did a lot of mall um, window shopping. Um, it was kind of crazy to see Christmas already on there because at the time we were in South Africa was in October. 
So it's not unheard of, but it was just kind of funny. One of our favorite stores that we really like that we do want to actually do some shopping in is Kingsley Heath. Their stuff was really nice uh, for both men and women, and the store smelled so good. I felt like it was kind of like a mature version of Hollister, if you know what Hollister is. <laughs> deserved day for the two of us. Let's go. day my boo's in the shower right now so and i'm just kind of doing some things to kind of check in for our activity for tomorrow because this week this week in this next week as i think i might have alluded to earlier in the vlog is kind of like our adventure week because we haven't had a car for the past two weeks and so we're going to have a car for the next We've had the car for 24 hours. We're going to have it for another week or so. Yeah, so last you would have seen me would have been kind of like little bits and pieces here and there um, from the spa. Oh my gosh, guys. Like, so we went to Aronia Day Spa and it was lovely from the moment we got in there. It basically looks like a house that they kind of converted into a kind of like a spa. Um, so it was, it was beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful inside and out. We got the couple's romantic escape or something like that. So all of our treatments were together. So like he had a bed and I had a bed and we were just only a couple feet away from each other. The room was like purple and like I'll insert some like footage and some um, some pictures and things so you can see because my boo actually took some photos and stuff while we were in the room before our treatment started. So that's what like all the purple is. And um, so what, include, what was included in that package was this private suite that we were in and it had like candles, like it was very romantic um, and like rose petals all over and everything, but it included a half hour exfoliating session an hour-long Swedish massage, an hour-long facial, it came with complimentary non-alcoholic champagne, and a like fruit and cheese platter. And then when you're in the changing rooms, like locker rooms, or bathrooms, whatever, um, which were beautiful as well, um, there's like a sauna that you have access to and a jacuzzi. Now I brought my bathing suit. Tell me why I forgot to put it on. Like I specifically brought my bathing suit and like kind of variations of them to wear to the spa, but I completely forgot to wear them to the spa, which is fine, whatever. Um, it was still a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience, like 10 out of 10. The receptionists were beautiful, like physically and just like as far as like professionalism went. Um, our, um, like a therapist, massage therapist, whatever, were great. I mean, he and I were next to each other, right? So obviously we could kind of hear if the other one was asleep or snoring or something and he was knocked out and so was I because it, it just felt so good. It was so wonderful and like, I feel like there's just so much stuff that I could tell you guys about that's kind of been causing us some stress as far as like the move and then like career stuff and just like all sorts of things. And so we were like really looking forward to this spa day because we were, we were just like, we we're just so stressed. We we're so anxious about so many different things. So we just really want to relax one day. So I'm super glad that we went. Then we just got back, which is why I'm wearing this cutesy little number um, from Signature, because I wanted to go back to Signature, because if you had watched my vlog from the last South Africa series, you would have known that when we went to Signature last time, I was sick as a dog, bro. I was sick as a dog. And I couldn't really stomach a lot of the food. So I told my bill, I was like, I really want to go back. Even if it's the only time we ever go back to Signature, I would really like us to go this time around. So we decided to kind of complete our kind of like indulgent day with a dinner at Signature. It was 
great, guys. It was so great. It was such a wonderful day. Right now, I'm checking in for our activity for tomorrow, which is really exciting, which is the Lion and Safari Park. And I think we might even have an opportunity to walk with lions. I'm not sure. But I'll capture all of that on camera for you guys. But I'm really excited about that. So we're just going to continue to wind down for the night. Just kind of settle on in. And I will see you guys tomorrow.